Yo, what a guiggity guan is that guy? Too many people these days chopping their locks. And it must be a trend, a fad. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the year 2K19, but it feels like locks. I got to go on some people. But I, for one, I'm always the one pushing. Like, yo, keep your locks as long as you can. But if somebody wants to comb them out, they're going to comb them out. Today's video is about Gunther the Great. He's had some iconic dreads on the YouTube game and he has come to the time where he's combed them out so make sure you stay tuned stay subscribed this is not nation not nation covering the dreadlock reviews covering um, dreadlock chops you know everything that comes around with dreadlocks now this is this is Gunther's channel everyone here knows Gunther the Great on the YouTube game and he actually cut his locks now a lot of people have covered lately like Lazy Dreads, Ozuna, Ski Master, Slump, Slump God is coming up next but Gunter here actually combed out his dreads more than anything and it's actually amazing how long it took him to, to comb out the lock. Apparently it took him three months and well over three years to grow this but three months to comb them out and uh, when it comes to dreadlocks I mean Gunther had the high top dreads um, he was saying that he found a lot of gunk in his locks when he was taking it out um, whether this is like build up or a little bit of dandruff um, it does accumulate in there I don't think anybody's locks are like perfectly clean on the inside uh, just because like hair follicles come off dead skin comes off shampoo gets left behind dandruff can occur like dust can get in there lint can get in there a lot of things can get in there and it's impossible to prevent it from going into your lock um uh, that's what gunther found on some of his locks when he took them out and um there was a video here somewhere basically this one when he was starting to comb out his lock and when you are combing out your dreads it does create like a wispy very light form of your hair uh, just because there's so much dead hair coming out as you comb it out um, it honestly like happens of your locks and the thickness of your hair so your hair left behind is like very very light um, and fluffy and kudos to Gunther for actually combing them out all the way because it is a lot of work um, good thing he had his wife to help out here you can kind of see some of the flakiness this stuff would get caught in the dreads this is kind of the stuff that he was probably seeing uh, and a very interesting part here was when he was showing you all the dead hair that came out of his locks and this is like a head full of hair in itself so I mean you do lose a lot of hair when you decide to comb it out um, I do think that you will regain this hair in time as you let it grow back in but you can definitely see a lot of the dandruff in the buildup in the lock from what he's cut off there. So this video here actually showing us what his hair is like outside of the dreads. And it's quite the different look. Um, probably loving this look a lot better a lot better than the dreads itself. It's really cool seeing the reactions you get from society when you come out of having dreads for so long and you take a step out into the world. People like take a second look at you like, oh, is that you? Most people praise it. Um, a few people might be like, yo, I miss the dreads, but I bet you he's getting a pretty good reaction um, with his hair like this. Who knows if he will go back to the freeform locks one day, um, but this look with his with his hair like this after it's been washed, and it's actually still in a high top here as well, uh, just very, very curly. Pretty interesting to see how he came about that. And real quick here, just a little transformation video that he's put out recently. Um, this is where we all met Gunther from with his short dreads that kind of went forward. I remember this when they went forward like that. Wispy tips, blonde tips, and uh, this is eight months. So he's actually got a lot of length. This this was the video where he actually where I actually kind of met him uh, for the first time. He hopped in a live stream with me and John Smith, so that was a pretty cool experience as well. And just to see his growth, because he was at 4,000 subscribers when that happened, uh, and just to see his growth from there, you know, it keeps getting longer. Starts adding some dye and some bleach tips a little bit more. Start messing with a bit more. Um, Bantu knots, braid outs, fish bones, the X look. I mean, he's, done, he's done a lot with his dreads, letting them Congo up, letting the pink show up in his hair, dyeing it, getting 360 waves with the dreads. Gunther's thought of everything. He's thought of everything to experiment with his locks while he's had them, the front tapers, and, um, and then of course the braiding of the dreads. Um, he had one called the rattlesnake braid dread, uh, just a different form of a braid lock. And then essentially just having 
curly hair now. So quite the cool transformation video that he's given us and um, a really cool hairstyle that he's actually managed to salvage from the locks. I kind of find that it's always better to salvage as much hair as you can before deciding to cut your dreads off right down to the scalp because um, there could be some like buyer's remorse with that and you just cut them too short so try and salvage as much as you can if and when you're cutting or combing out your dreads hopefully you're not doing any either of that and just letting them grow down to the floor but you know what it is i'm going to end this video here hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on gunter the greats dreadlock comb out there's a couple more comb out dreadlock chop videos on its way leave a comment down below if there's anybody else that has a comb out or a dreadlock chop that recently happened that you feel like i should cover here on the channel and i'll definitely see you guys next time so until then peace out one love stay happy and natsy and i'll see you in the next one adios wagwan